Hey, what's up guys? I've got a really simple project for you today. It's useful. It's a power monitor, but you're going to be surprised at just how simple it is to put something like this together. And after you've put it together like this, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comment section down below and we'll take it up a level and we'll do power logging. And then if you're still interested, we'll take it up another level and do power logging over the internet. So let's get started on today's part. Let's go over what we need to make it work. Three items here. So we're using a Nano. You can use any Arduino you want. So from our five volt pin, we're taking five volts to the plus voltage rail. And from the ground pin, we're going to the ground rail. Now our OLED gets its power, it's five volts and it's ground. And this INA219 current sensor also gets its power and its ground. Now these guys are both I squared C devices. So both of them have a clock and a data signal. The clock signals go to A5, the data signals go to A4. So that's basically it for this. Now we need to, something to monitor for our power monitor. So in this case, I've just got a little disk array of LEDs, which I'm going to power externally with this little buck converter. Now, on a side note here, but very important, let's show how it's hooked up. So the power out, and it's marked out plus from the buck converter, goes into the VN plus of the INA219. The VN minus from the INA219 goes to the positive of the LED array. The negative from the LED array flows back here to where it's marked out minus. All right, that's it. One last thing, this white wire is a ground line and it's hooked into our common ground. We always want to have our grounds hooked together. So that's it for the setup. See how simple that is? Well, the code is just about as simple. Let's go take a look at it. All right, the code for the Arduino power monitor. We've got three includes wire so that we can have I2C communications, Adafruit SSD 1306, which is the driver for our OLED, and INA219, which is the driver for the current and power monitor. One define, which is OLED reset four. Then we're going to create an instance of the INA219 called monitor and an instance of the SSD 1306 called display. Down in setup, we start the INA219 with the command monitor begin. We start the OLED with the command display begin and pay attention to the address here at the end. This is the hex address. If you do not have the Adafruit OLED and you have a one hung low, this is probably going to be the address you need to use. So if your uh, display won't turn on, try changing it to this address and you'll probably be okay. Next we're going to show the splash screen, wait for two seconds, and then clear the display. Now we get into the main loop of the program. We're going to begin every loop by clearing the old data off the screen. And then we're going to go through these three lines, uh, display set text size one, set text color white, and set text cursor, or set cursor to zero, zero. And that just sets up our screen so it's ready to do each loop. Then we are going to print our header, in this case, shunt voltage. And then we're going to print the actual shunt voltage by using this command here, monitor.shuntvoltage. We're going to multiply it by a thousand for millivolts, and we're going to show it in two decibel places. And then after that, we will do the units, which are millivolts. And you'll notice this line is a print line, so it 
puts a carriage return at the end and goes down to the next line. Then we're going to do it for the shunt current with the command monitor dot shunt current. Again, multiplied by a thousand to give us milliamps, two decimal places. And then our bus voltage, two places in volts. And our bus power, multiplied by a thousand, two decimal places to give us milliwatts. That's all sent to the buffer. Then we print what's in the buffer to the display. Wait one second and go back and begin the loop again. See, I told you it was really easy. All right, we've got the code ready. So I'm going to power up our Arduino current monitor here. We'll have the Adafruit splash screen come up. And then it will go into our power monitoring. So we have our four readings, shunt voltage, shunt current, bus voltage, and bus power. All right, so now I'm going to power up the LED array. Boom. And let's zoom in and check out what's going on now. So now you see we have 13.4 millivolts across the shunt. And that shunt is this big old resistor right here. And across the shunt we have 133.5 milliamps. Now our bus voltage is 3 volts. And our power is for about, let's call it about 400 milliwatts. Now how simple is that? So now you can use something as simple as this and you know you can compress all three of these things together more, fit it on a half size breadboard, put it in a nice little project box and you've got a portable power monitor you can take with you anywhere. So if you guys like this, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment and share. Let me know if you guys want to take this up to the next couple of levels. And uh, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Bye. So I was contacted by this company here, Idle 8 and they wanted to know if I wanted to be one of their beta testers. And what it is, is a way to request custom videos on YouTube or sent directly to you. So I said, sure, give it a try. So if you go to idolate.com and click Browse Artists, you can see their beta guys here. Here's mine. You can click on it, and you can request a video. Videos through this are $50 a piece, and it's paid through PayPal. So, it's there if you guys are interested.